from West Perry High School in Elliotsburg, Pennsylvania in Perry County. This is District 3 Wrestling. As tonight, we have a first round matchup in the PIAA, District 3 2A Team Championships. As the number five, West Perry Mustangs, hosting the number 12, Conrad Re Conrad Weiser Scouts. Hello everyone watching on the West Perry Athletic Party YouTube channel. My name is Alex Ball, the Golden Pies of West Perry Athletics. We send over to Brent Anderson, our power dress dancer, for our starting lineups. For the scouts, Tyler Kepley, Finnegan Miller, Brent Roeder, or Edmund Yaziski, and for the Mustangs, Hayden Quaker. <laughs> At 114, will be one of the four for Conrad Weiser, for the Mustangs, Evan Shepard.
This is the PIAA District Free 2A Wrestling Championships, sponsored by Payne Walker Foundation and by River Rock Academy, the number five seed, West Bay Mustangs. Count, count to this matchup, 13 wins, three losses overall, five and one in the Mid-Pen Canoyan Division. Their only loss in the Mid-Pen Conference was against Bowling Springs. For the Combat Wiser Scouts, they're counting this matchup as the number 12 seed, the last team to get into the District 3 playoffs with a 15 and six overall record, a perfect 3-0 in the Berks County Interscholastic Athletic Association in Division 2. And now we're gonna have our opening matchup here. 107 pound matchup to get things started here. I am the Golden Pipes the, of West Prairie Athletics, Mr. Alex Wall, and we are ready to go here at West Prairie High School. The right to go on to District 3 core finals, that will be on Wednesday at Bishop McDevitt for one of these two teams. Winner moves on. And, and here we go. Our first matchup, 107 pounds. It's going to be Edmund Udiski taking on Hayden Quaker. Udiski, a freshman for the Scouts. 19 wins, 13 losses on the year against Hayden Quaker. Hayden Quaker, a rising star here at West Prairie, a sophomore. Hayden Quaker in a good spot here. Hayden Quaker, seven wins, 16 losses on the year. But Hayden Quaker, a warrior here at West Prairie High School as we get things started here at West Prairie High School. Thank you so much for tuning in. A not bad shot here for Udiski. And Hayden Quaker having a nice job sprawling out of the way. And we're gonna have a stalemate here early on. And Quaker, he was featured on Fox 43 this past weekend. As he is a warrior, ladies and gentlemen, filing with spina fibia. That Ray limits what he can do in some ways, but that's not gonna stop Hayne Quaker from doing what he does best and has to be a wrestler. And Hayne Quaker has big goals this year. And Hayne Quaker looking to get West Perry on the board first. Here at West Prairie High School, this is the third straight matchup, third straight year that West Prairie has hosted a District 3 championship ma tournament match. Last year, West Prairie was the number two seed and hosted a core foul and a selling foul. This year, number, number five seed. Here's Udiski, who have a nice cradle on Quaker. Quaker has 30 seconds to hang on here. And Udiski still hang up, still driving forward with that cradle. Conrad Weiser trying to get on the board first. And a really good spot here. Hank McDermott is the head coach for Conrad Weiser. Zachary Kell, that second year head coach for the West Prairie Mustangs. Hank Cracker doing a nice job. It's a two point takedown, now getting a three point near fall perhaps as time is about to run out here at, in the first period. Hank Cracker hangs on, survives by his three point near fall for Udiski. That's a five nothing lead after the first period. Topa Hawkins awaits the winner of this matchup. Topa Hawkins, the number four seed, will be at Bishop McDevitt this Wednesday for a core five matchup against the winner of this match. Also on the same side of bracket tonight, the Newport Buffaloes, another Perry County team, hosting the Trinity Shamrocks in a big matchup happening right now at Newport High School. Where up that match will take on the top seed Bishop McDevitt Crusaders on Wednesday night at six o'clock. But here we are at West Prairie High School for the Mustangs and the Scouts. First ever matchup between these two teams in the District 3 tournament. This is the third straight year that West Prairie has faced a team out of the Berks Catholic Interscholastic Gatlin Association. Last year, the Mustangs Lost to Berks Catholic in the District 3 Championship. So the Mustangs are looking to get back to that championships, championship mat at Cumberland Valley, which will be this Saturday. And now another two point dunk down here for Udiski. Edmund Udiski here. Five seconds to go here in the second period. Thank you so much for tuning in on the West Prairie Athletic Party YouTube channel. 
And this is our first matchup on the night, 107 pounds. On the other side of the District 3 bracket, the number two seed is Berks Catholic, the de defending District 3 champions. They will be at home on Wednesday, hosting three other teams, including Northern Lebanon, who is the number three seed. Berks Catholic will take on a winner of Bickerfield, hosting DeLong Catholic tonight, and Northern Lebanon awaits the winner of Wild Missing in Eastern York. Five or two seconds are about to tick off here, and it's been all your disky here we have a seven nothing lead after two periods. Let's play crowd all behind Hayden Quaker here. Not a very bad crowd here tonight. A lot of Conrad Weiser fans making the trip here. It is a little bit of a trip from Berks Catholic, from Berks County. Just over an hour and 30 minutes. For Conrad Weiser to be here, so it is a little bit of a trip. Right, that's how big this district is. I mean, West Perry, all the Newport are the, like all the schools in Perry County are the most northern schools in District 3. And all the schools in Berks County are the furthest east in the district. It might be no surprise for Topa Hawkins, the winner who will face the winner of this match. They might be cheering on Conrad Weiser looking for an all-Berks County matchup on Wednesday at Bishop McDevitt. And Quaker, nice scramble here. Nice roll over here for Hayden Quaker. A one-point escape was already awarded to Hayden Quaker. It is 7-1 now. With just over a minute to go here in the third period. This would be big for the Mustangs if Hayden Quaker can limit to a Decision victory and two point takedown not awarded just yet. Hank Cranker still hang on to the right leg of Udiski. Hank Cranker, he could do West play a lot of fairs with a decision, but now it's an eight point lead. Takedown just awarded to Udiski. Makes it nine to one. This will stand as a major decision victory if this score holds up. Hank Cranker, all he needs is escape point in the next 30 seconds to. Leave it to a decision victory for the Scouts. This game not doing a whole lot on top because Quaker, he's been very good on bottom so far as here and now. Quaker trying to get a roll over here. Quaker needs to get up for basket reversal. Quaker now has a single leg. And this game with the arms wrecked around. Five seconds for a tick off. And no reversal, and that will be it. A 9-1 major decision victory. And then Udiski getting the major decision victory, and the scouts are on the board first with four. We now move forward to 114 pounds. It uh, looks like it's going to be for West Perry, Evan Shepard. So here we go for the Mustangs. This is Evan Shepard. Yeah, this is Tyler Kepley here and Evan Shepard very quickly getting a, take, getting a quick takedown. Evan Shepard for the Mustangs, twin brothers uh, with Aiden Shepard. Evan is 21-8, and there he makes it 22. A win by fall in 22 seconds for Evan Shepard, and the Mustangs get on the board with that. 22 seconds, the time of the fall. And now we could be about to be witnessing history here at West Prairie High School as Jackson Rush coming in now at 121 pounds. With a win right here, he will get his 100th career victory. So this is big for Jackson Rush. So here is Jaden Woodrum going to be going up against Jackson Rush.
Jay and Woodrum, Florida. Scouts, 18 wins, 14 losses, and Jackson Rush very quickly with a two-point takedown. Remember, Jackson Rush, he could be making history here tonight. With a win here, he'll get his 100th career victory. Jackson Rush, a junior this year for the Mustangs. He's about to become the second Mustang ever to get his 100th career win as a junior. The ever wrestler to do that was Tyler Morrison earlier this season. And now Jackson Rush, what a big way. This will be the gear 100th. Jackson Rush with loads of time, go, go for a fall, and there it is! 100 career wins for Jackson Rush. He gets his 100th by win by fall in 53 seconds. Jackson Rush getting his 100 win. Head coach Zach Kell and assistant coach Josh Schaefer. Green Jackson Rush with his 100th career win. What a moment. Jackson Rush now becomes the ninth wrestler in West Perry history to get his 100th career win. And what a way to do it by fall in less than a minute here on the home mat in the district three first round. Congratulations, Jackson Rush. So now we go to 127 pounds. Jackson Rush getting his 28th win on the year. Jackson Rush now 28 and two as a junior and 100 wins. Justin McGarrigo here for the, for the scouts. As Christian Laughman here for the West Bay Mustangs. Ethan Ray not wrestling here today, so Christian Laughman is wrestling here at a quick two by takedown here for McGarrico. Justin McGarrico, a sophomore, 26 wins, seven losses. He leads the team with 17 wins by fall. He is tied for that, in fact, along with Caleb Britting who also has 17 wins by fall. And out of bounds here, a minute, eight seconds to go here in the first period, but history has just been made for West Perry's Jackson Rush, getting his 100th career win, becoming the ninth wrestler ever at West Perry to get his 100th win. And he's also the second West Perry wrestler ever to get his 100th win as a junior. Tyler Morrison earlier this season, Guys, one half went at the Trojan Wars, and he is a junior as well. It is very quickly 6 2. As McGarrigo has been riding Christian Laughman all over, and now Laughman in deep trouble here as McGarrigo is going to look for a win by fall here. 12 6. Hold on. The scoreboard is saying 12 6. It's actually 12 to 4. Don't know where the other two points came from. And back to back wins by Fall for the Mustangs. And now uh, McGarrico trying to get it right back. And foul seconds will take off here in the first period, and that will be the first period. Justin McGarrigo with a 10-3 lead after the first period. And I tell out here the scores table. And, oh, they were talking about a decision, and decision is going for Conrad Weiser. And they're saying stay at neutral here as we start the second period. And 
very quickly here is McGarrigal. And uh, McGarrigal getting Laughman on his back, only for a moment. District 3 wrestling with two officials here. Uh, West Prairie, they haven't lost a home match in over two years. Last time they lost at home was against the Bowling Springs Bubblers. That was two years, that was three years ago. <laughs> and now, the Mustangs, uh, they only had, they, they didn't have a very strong home schedule this year. Their biggest home match that they had was the Perry County Tournament back in the beginning of the season where the Mustangs dominated over Susquehanna and Newport. And then they have three other matches after that against Big Spring, Shimmersburg, including last Thursday at home against Waynesboro for senior night, where the Mustangs dominated to a 56 to 12 victory over the Waynesboro Indians. Christian Laughman bowling hard here, 12-4 here. This would be big for the scouts if they can get a big win here for Justin McGarrico, and there it is. Town of all three minutes and 14 seconds, and the scouts are now down by two. Justin McGarrigal gained the win at 127 pounds. So now we go to 133 pounds. It's got to be Connor Sellers for Connor Riser. Uh, we'll reset the clock here as soon as we get to a 150 mark. 130 pound, 133 pounds. Connor Sellers for Connor Weiser and Aiden Shepard here for the Mustangs. Uh, very quick takedown here for Sellers. Connor Sellers, a freshman this year for the Scouts, 20 wins and 14 losses. He has 12 wins by fall. And he's taking on Adrian Shepard, a freshman, 15 wins, 13 losses as a freshman. Twin brother of Evan Shepard, who got a big win just a couple of matches ago. But 12 10, it's our team score here on the bottom of your screen. 2 0 lay here for. Connor Sellers, a nice takedown, and now Shepard able to get back up and out of bounds. Connor Reiser now up four to one. Connor Sellers. Nice big crowd here. We see Jackson Rush's family here with a sign right on the gym, court, gym floor here. Jackson with his 100th win earlier today. And now out of bounds. Tough one right the edge of the mat. And no takedown awarded for Sellers. Nice shot here for Shepard. Shepard's going to have the single leg wrapped around up high. And now Sellers is going to go for a high leg kind of reversal. And Shepard still hanging on, but time will run out of this in the first period. 4-1 here for Conrad Risers. Connor Sellers. Connor Sellers got to be down referee's position to start the second period, up four to one. And earlier today, we were talking about West Prairie's history against a, a team out of a Brooks Catholic Air Scholastic Athletic Association, the BCIAA. And that brings up our West Prairie Athletic Department trivia question of the game. How many times has West Prairie defeated a team in the District, play, district 3 playoffs from the BCIAA? 
How many times has West Bay Wrestling defeated a team in a District 3 playoffs from the BCIAA? We'll have that answer for you coming up in just a couple mo moments. Evan Shepard, excuse me, Aiden Shepard. Going strong, going strong on top here. And Sellers trying to reach back and now uh, an arm bar here coming up here again. The arm wrapped around behind his back and Shepard has to drive here and potentially dangerous here. The call from our official here. Second period here at 133 pounds. Connor Sellers for Conrad Weiser. We have a 4 1 lead over West Price, Evan Shep Aiden Shepard. Shepard's doing a good job on top, but Ray Sellers hasn't Ray been doing a whole lot on bottom. But no stall warnings have been caused just yet because Shepard has been very good on top so far. And this is big for Aiden Shepard as well because if he can keep the score where it is, hang into the third period. So you have a good chance of trying to tie the match up in the third. As we've got eight seconds up to go. Shepard has to half Nelson, however. He's got to drive forward with that. Good job for Sellers to look the other way. And time will run out. Good last minute. Good last second effort there for Shepard, but time runs out as we go to the third period. Aiden Shepard down four to one, and we have a blood timeout here before the third period. Blood timeout here for Connor Sellers. Out here, if I'll be covering a PIAA official, here if I'll be covering a referee for wrestling, now's your opportunity. Go to PIAA.org to find out how you can become a PIAA official. Again, that is PIAA.org. Winner of this match goes on to face Tupa Hawkin at Bishop McDevitt this Wednesday night starting at 6 o'clock. And the top three teams qualify for the state championships at the Giants Center in Hershey. As the third play gets on the way, Sarah's looking for a quick move on top, but now looks like Shepard has the cradle locked up, and there's a two-point reversal, and now rolling over with the cradle, but Sarah's looking deep inside, and now trouble here for, for Sellers. As Shepard is getting back points, he has two locked in right now. He's got to take the lead here. And Shepard not giving up. He is still going for his cradle. And now Ronnie into the mat. West Prairie fans not happy about that call, but the West Prairie bench is all fired up as Aiden Shepard takes a 5 4 lead with that cradle. Two point near fall. They give Shepard a 5-4 lead with a minute 20 to go. Big match up here, and just like that, we are tied. Sellers very quickly go for a shot around the edge of the mat. And we are now tied at five. A minute 15 to go, big match up here. And now Sellers saying another blood timeout. Or no, blood timeout this time for Shepard. Or, uh, oh no, it's not blood timeout. It's actually an injury timeout. Aiden Shepard has been battling with an injured left knee for most of this season. And now it looks like that knee might have been, might have been hurting on that takedown attempt right on the edge of the mat just a second ago. And so this is an injury timeout for West Price, Aiden Shepard. This is a big matchup here, 133 pounds. You can imagine Aiden Shepard wants to keep going, and he did he will. Aiden Shepard quickly back up on his feet. 
A minute 15 to go. Shepard now got to take a shot at a single leg and nice tie up here between both wrestlers at 133 pounds. We are approaching the final minute of the third period. We are tied at five and Shepard going again for a shot. He has a single leg right down, switches to a double and there's a two point takedown. Aiden Shepard with a big shot and a rollover and Salas was all fired up. He thought he had a reversal fall by a pin, but it was out of bounds. Conrad Weiser not happy. But 53 seconds and Shepard hang on to a 7-5 lead. This crowd's getting loud here, 133 pounds. Aiden Shepard, a freshman, looking for his 16th win on the year. It has been a back and forth count kind of season for Aiden Shepard. 15 wins, 13 losses. And going up a strong opponent in Connor Sellers. Connor Sellers with 20 wins and 14 losses. These are two evenly matched wrestlers. And both wrestlers go out of bounds with 21.7 seconds. Third period, Aiden Shepard for West Perry with the 7 5 lead. A big matchup here. West Perry only up by two on a team score. And now this is very good for Shepard. Shepard has rolled out the entire second period and now he was down by three hanging to the third, now up by two. Final five seconds. Shepard can't let him up right now, giving the escape point, he will. Almost like a day day We come move coming up there, and Shepard gets the win. 7-6 decision victory for Aiden Shepard. What a big win for Aiden Shepard, King. Getting his 16th win on the year. What a battle that was at 133. Now we go to 139. Blaine Poholski, the only senior on the West Perry team. Blaine Poholski, a perfect 10 and 0. He has been hurt for most of the season due to an injury he suffered during the football season this past fall. But Blaine Poholski coming back at the right time and very quickly going for a win by fall here. Over at Jonah Fernandez. Jonah Fernandez here for Conrad Weiser. Paholski with loads of time getting the, the fall here very quickly. And Fernandez trying to hang on here. Paholski just too tough. Paholski two times state qualifier. No doubt he's got to be looking for his third straight trip to the Giants Center later in the individual postseason. But here's about a trip to Bishop McDevitt on Wednesday. Paholski with uh, lots of time here. He's going for a quick fall. Now he switches to a cradle. And Paholski with loads of time. One minute to go. Referee is a good spot. And there's the win by Fall. Time of Fall. A minute and four seconds. Time of the Fall for Flame Paholski. And Boholski now a perfect 11 and 0. And we now go to 145 pounds. It will be Colin Shimp for Kamar Weiser. And for the West Prey Mustangs, it's going to be Adam Yoder. So here we go, 21 10, the team score now for the Mustangs. They are looking to finish the dual meet season perfect at home. And the Mustangs very quickly, Adam Yoder getting on top. Adam Yoder, not a great sophomore season for Adam Yoder. Only five wins and 14 losses by Adam Yoder. Looking to turn his fortunes around in the District 3 Championships. And he is taking on Colin Shimp. Colin Shimp, another rough season for him. Colin Shimp, a junior, only three wins and 19 losses. So he got two evenly matched wrestlers here at 145. And there's the win by fall on the tilt. 44 seconds, time to fall for Adam Yoder.
What a big win for Adam Yoder. His sixth win on the season. And now they go to 152 as the Mustangs are starting to run away with it. The Mustangs are returning District 3 runner-up. They lost to Burks Catholic last year in the District 3 championship. Burks Catholic is on the other side of the bracket, the undefeated number two seed. Burks Catholic will be at home on Wednesday. Here we are, 160 or excuse me, 152 pounds already. This is Jaden Jared Klopp for Conrad Weiser. And he's going up against Tanner Sick or, or excuse me, Jensen Hockenberry Folk here for Mustangs. Jensen Hockenberry Folk, younger brother of Justice Hockenberry Folk, who is currently a wrestler at. Division three, York College. And Jensen with another quick takedown here. Jensen Hockenberry Folk, a junior. 21 wins, seven losses. Third on the roster with most wins. And two point near fall here for, excuse me, three point near fall for Hockenberry. Hey, we want to look for aggressive style wrestling. You're going to get in Jensen Hockenberry Folk. Yeah, just got a correction. He's taking on Davis Kep Davis Kepley. Davis Kepley, 24 wins and nine losses on the air. So this is a pretty big matchup here. Two evenly matched wrestlers and Jensen. His first year as a starter here at West Perry, and he has been dominant all season long. Who knows, we could be looking at a potential state qualifier later this season, and there's a two-point reversal for Kepling. And now 2-2 two -two here. And now Kepling looking for a cradle in the final five seconds. And this is a bit of a surprise here at the end of one. Jensen Hungerberry Folk up by three. It is 5-2 after one. And decision here for Conrad Weiser, Davis Kepley. And, oh, we have some scoreboard issues here at West Perry. And this has been somewhat normal here this season. And the two minutes are back on the clock. 27-10 is the team score here. And Tupper Hawkins awaits the winner here on Wednesday. And a nice trip, a single leg shot, and fought by a trip. And there, it's two by takedown for Jensen Hockenberry, folks. 7-2 in the second period. Jensen hang on to the back wrist behind the back. And a nice job here for Kepley to stay out. And now a cradle's got to be locked up here for Hockenberry Folk. We actually have a correction here again on the Conrad Weiser wrestler. This is Jaden Stido. And lots of time here. And Stato here right going down by three more. It's now 10-2, three-point near fall for Jensen. I suppose that wasn't a fall right there on that cradle. A 10-2 lead now here for Jensen Hockenberry Folk. As they approach the final 20 seconds of the second period. Yeah. 
And now a timeout here as the head gear gets popped off of Hockenberry folks. So we'll reset in the middle. Uh, I mean, it might have been a head gear foul. Uh, or no, we're going to have a blood timeout actually here with 14.8 seconds to go. Now's a good time for our West to answer our West Prairie Athletic Department trivia question of the game. How many times has West Prairie defeated a team out of BCI AA in the District 3 playoffs? That happened twice, and both times happened in 2022, just a couple years ago. The Mustangs hosted Brandywine Heights in the first round and pounded Brandywine Heights by a score of 63-12. to And then later in a Constellation semifinal, the Mustangs beat Burks Catholic in a Constellation semifinal 39-28. to The Mustangs later went on to go beat Northern Lemony in the third place match and qualify for the state championships for the first time in program history. Even. Last year, the or excuse me, second straight year. The Mustangs have been to the Giant Center in the team championships for three consecutive years. Last year, the Mustangs went 0-2 at the Giant Center, losing to Chestnut Ridge and then losing to Warrior Run. But the Mustangs, with only one senior, that's Blaine Poholsky and some very talented juniors, can, could have a deep run again this year at the Giant Center. Two years ago, the Mustangs finished in the top eight in the state in 2A. And now we're gonna have a two point reversal here for Jane Siler in the final seconds. That'll make it 10 to four. So far it's been a problem for Jensen here today of staying on top in the final seconds. That's two reversals now in the final seconds of each of the first two periods. And now it's Jensen Huckleberry Folk up 10 to 4, but down in referee's position. This could be a good opportunity for Stido to get right back into this match. Jensen trying to stay out that cradle predicament, and Jane Stido uh, trying to. Uh, I think Jensen had a hard wrist, and Stido just trying. Just yanking out, and now a cradle here for Jaden Stido. This could be big. This will cut the lead in half, but no points are being awarded just yet. And now we see three fingers down the mat. This could be a three-point near fall if Jess Hungerberry Folk can stay out of this. This will be big for Conrad Reiser if they can get a win by fall here in the final minute of the third period. The Conrad Weiser coach is saying, there's the win by fall, there it is right there. I'm not seeing it just there from our angle. Jane Stiles trying to, and I mean, the referee is not really looking down on the mat level. I don't know what he's possibly looking for, but this is all good for Jensen, and there's a free point near fall. Jane Stiles just, Letting it go, now down by three, and a head gear pops off again. It is now 10-7 with exactly 20 seconds to go in the third period. Got a big matchup all of a sudden here at 152 pounds. Change. Jane Stout trying to, and now there's a stall warning call against Jensen. For West Prairie, Chad Shaper, assistant coach, storming up, not happy about that call. And it got close at the end, but Jensen Hugginberry Folk is going to survive with a 10 7 decision victory. A good effort there for Conrad Weiser. But three more team points awarded to the Mustangs. Now we go over to 160 pounds. At 160, Jared Croft for Conrad Weiser. 
here is Jared Croft now. Jared Croft here for Carl Russell taking on Cooper Nays. And ball rushes out of bounds very quickly here. Cooper Nays, we were talking earlier before his match, and Cooper Nays' back has really been bothering him as of late. But not bothering enough for him not to be in action here. As we got a big matchup here, it's a big lead for the Mustangs in the team score. But still very much in reach for the Colorado Wiser Scouts. Jensen, or excuse me, Cooper Nace here for West Perry. A junior, seven wins and three losses. Cooper Nace has been battling injuries all season long. Take on Jared Kropp. Jared Kropp, 12 wins and 13 losses. For Colorado Wiser's Jared Kropp. This is the start of a very busy broadcasting week for us here at West Perry High School. As we don't do just, if you're watching on the West Perry Athletic Party YouTube channel for the first time, we do a little bit of everything here. We broadcast for so many different sports. Tomorrow we'll have our last double header for West Perry basketball and bocce ball. Tomorrow will be the first ever senior night for West Perry bocce ball as they'll have face Lion Mountain for the first time ever. And then tomorrow night we'll have West Perry girls basketball at home against James Buchanan. And a mid pen Carolina fishing matchup. We do basketball, we do wrestling, we do bocce ball during the winter. Come up in the spring, we'll be broadcasting baseball and softball. And now a big roll over here for Cooper Nays. Oh, what a win in the final seconds of the first period. Cooper Nays ripped the headlock and just rolls back. And one minute, 54 seconds, time of the fall for Cooper Nace. What just happened there? That came out of nowhere. Cooper Nace was down two to nothing. Then he gets the rollover and gets the win by falling the headlock. That's a big win for Cooper Nace right there. And now here we go with Ty Morrison. Ty Morrison got his 100th win earlier this season. Gavin Sable here for Conrad Weiser. And Ty Morrison, a very aggressive style wrestler. He got his 100th career win earlier this season at the Trojan Wars, hosted by Chambersburg. And Ty Morrison very quickly up two to nothing here. Tyler Morrison, younger brother of Lock County University's wrestler Brad Morrison. Ty Morrison has 29 wins, the most of any wrestler on the West Prairie team. Morrison with the crown, he gets up on it, and now he gets the win by fall just like that. Ty Morrison, who has been having an unbelievable junior season, gets the win by fall in 40 seconds. Now we go over to 189 pounds. Ty Morrison, winner over Gavin Sabo. Uh, here is another talented junior for the Mustangs. Tucker Seidel, a fantastic wrestler, big strong dude. Uh, 189 pounds for the Mustangs and there's the power that we have been talking about. Tucker Seidel, a junior. 29 wins, three losses. He is looking for his 30th win on the year. Ty Morrison just got his 30th. Oh, Tucker Sido joined him very quickly here. It took 40 seconds for Ty Morrison to get his win by fall. And he's going up. Oh, it don't matter now as Tucker Sido gets it in 32 seconds to win by the fall over Garcia. Right? Jerry Garcia. And the Mustangs are running away with this, with this one. Two hundred fifteen pounds, and it could be our last matchup of the day because West Prey, unfortunately, does not have a heavyweight active right now. Uh, 
Uh, the last man to find Tucker Sound face was Dylan Garcia. And now here is Jerry Garcia. It's Jerry Garcia, a senior. Brothers with Dylan. Tang on Quaid Bolden. Jerry Garcia, 26 wins and 6 losses. And the Mustangs, with only two matches left, is going to face Topa Hawking on Wednesday at Fisher McDevitt. And he's saying on Quaid Bolden. Quaid Bolden, he wrestled heavyweight against Waynesboro this past Thursday on Sierra night, but junior Quaid Bolden with 18 wins and six losses. Quaid Bolden, a returning state qualifier. It's gonna be a big matchup here at 215 pounds. Coming up, we'll have for West, we'll have for West Pay Athletic part of the post-match wrap-up. We'll announce our wrestler of the match. What's next for the West Prairie Mustangs? Updated records. What's next for the West Prairie Mustangs? All that and more coming up on the West Prairie Athletic part of the post-match wrap-up. Garcia had a single leg, but Bowden able to kick out of it. And now another and I don't I don't know what the strategy here is for Jerry Garcia. He's getting a single leg and he's ready to hang on to it. Quay Bowden just kicking out. Or is Garcia really just letting him kick out of it? Try to get something on the back here or, or something. This is a interesting strategy. And now Quay Bowden caught on a stall warning. West Prairie fans are not happy about that. And Bowden Getting a single leg shot in. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of strength here for Bowden to try to pull that leg in. And a stalemate is called with seven and a half seconds. Time right now in the first period, 0-0 zero, zero after one. It's just been total domination here for the West Bay and Mustangs. Conrad Weiser, a perfect 3-0 in the Brooks County Interscholastic Athletic Association. But Brooke, uh, congratulations to Conrad Weiser for getting to this point. They were the last team in, and top 12 teams qualify for the District 3 2A championship tournament. And Carl Weiser is the last team in. But the West Prairie Mustangs just looking at way too easy. I would be nervous if I was either Topo Hawkins or Bishop McDevitt. Because the Mustangs are coming in as hot as they come. Especially they got some key wrestlers that are just starting this season. Blake Pahulski being one of them. As well as Cooper Nace having a big start after battering injuries this entire season. But the Mustangs, they only have three losses so far this season. They were against really good teams, all three of them in their respective district championships. Bish McDev, or excuse me, uh, Borden Springs, with only one loss in the District 3 AAA tournament. They also lost to Gaysburg and Warrior Run at the Gaysburg Duels. Warrior Run defeated the Mustangs in the state championships last year. And Gettysburg, well, that's Gettysburg. They're undefeated. They're going to be a heavy favorite to win the District 3 AAA Championship this coming Saturday at Cumberland Valley. And now the Mustangs are looking to join Gettysburg at Cumberland Valley this Saturday. But first they have to get through Conrad Weiser. And Gray Bond with a 2 0 lead. And out of bounds with 21 and a half seconds to go. Craig Bowden up two to nothing here. Wow, 10 seconds here up the second period. Quay Bond up two to nothing. And a reversal. And Garcia reaching back and time to run out. Quay Bonin up two nothing, hang into the third and final period at 215 pounds. And it's possible he could be seeing a no contest at 285 pounds because we don't see anybody warming up 
on either side here. Call my riser bench right to my right here. And let's play on the other side. I don't see anybody warming up at 285 pounds. Could be a no contest at 285, which will make this 215 pound matchup our last one of the night. Very quick one, too. And this match started at 6 o'clock, and it's not even 7 o'clock yet. It's been a fairly quick one here at Westbury High School. And now Garcia getting up, and there's Craig Bowden with a two point reversal. 4 0 now for Craig Bowden. Craig Bowden, the son of head football coach and assistant coach of the wrestling team, Bob Bowden. Great boy, a fantastic athlete here, both on the football squad and on the wrestling team. One minute to go here in the third period. Great Bowden with a 4 0 lead. Nice job hanging out on top. And this is going to be a big win for Craig Bowden because Sherry Garcia, he's no pushover. Sherry Garcia, a senior. 26 wins and six losses. Craig Bowen just making it look easy here tonight. Now Craig Bowen with Garcia on his back for a second. And it looks like two back points are about to be awarded to Bowen. And there is a two point near fall, followed by one point escape for Garcia. Yeah, that will make it six to one. And Garcia with a late shot here, 15 seconds to go. And Jerry Garcia with the two point takedown, makes it six to three. All pressure score out fast with 11.8 seconds to go. Ray Barr now up by three. I'm gonna make it 51 to 10, the final score. Ray Barr Need to hang on here. Now there's a stall against Bowden. That gets one point and doesn't matter because Craig Bowden hangs on to a 6-4 decision victory for Craig Bowden. And that makes our final score here. And actually this ain't gonna be the final score as Kyle Reiser does have a heavyweight at 285 pounds. It's going to be Eugene Booth. Or excuse me, Caleb Britting will get the forfeit at 285. And that will make our final score 51 to 16. And the Mustangs will move on to District 3 quarterfinals on Wednesday at Bishop McDevitt High School where they will take on the number four seed, Topa Hawkin. Topa Hawkin, yep. And that will be... Six o'clock on Wednesday, yep. Yep. Our power dress last night just came over. And that will wrap up our first round matchup here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Our West Perry Athletic Department Wrestler of the Match getting his 100th career win here tonight. Jackson Rush getting the win by fall in less than a minute. And Jackson Rush is our West Perry Athletic Department Wrestler of the Match with his 100th career win. He is the ninth wrestler in West Perry wrestling history to get 100 wins. He now joins Tyler Morrison with 100 wins. And we can see Kirsten Rush, Jackson's mom, decorating the map with 100, with balloons representing 100 wins. No doubt we're gonna be seeing some pictures taken in just a few moments for Jackson Rush. But he is our West Perry Athletic Park wrestler of the match. The West Perry Mustangs improved to 14 and three overall. They finished perfect at home. 6-0 and at Westbury High School this season. The Mustangs have not lost at home in, the, in over three years. And now the Mustangs will advance to the District 3 core finals at Bishop McDevitt High School this Wednesday starting at 6 o'clock where they'll be taking on the Top Topa Hawking team, the number four seed, 15-2 Topa Hawking. 
awaits the West Prime Mustangs. We just got an update from the other first round matchup on West Prime side of Bracken and Newport Buffaloes leading the Trinity Shamrocks. Newport another Perry Kai team and they're rolling against Trinity. It looks like Newport is going to be joining West Perry at Mr. McDevitt on Wednesday. We're going to have two Perry Kai teams and they could face each other in the semifinals if Newport can pull a big upset over the Bishop McDevitt Crusaders, the number one seed. But hey, there's still matches left there in that Newport Trinity matchup at Newport High School. We'll catch the update brackets maybe later tonight or definitely by tomorrow as the quarterfinals are set for Wednesday, January 31st, starting at 6 o'clock at Bishop McDevitt. West Perry will take on Topa Hawkins. That's going to be a fun one to watch. West Perry improves to 14-4 overall. Conrad Weiser finishes the season in the dual meet season. 15 wins and 7 losses. And perfect 3-0 in the Berks, Conflict, Berks County Interscholastic Athletic Association in Division 2. Our next broadcast here on the West Perry Athletic Party YouTube channel will be on tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have our last bocce ball slash basketball doubleheader. For the first time ever, West Prairie Bocce Ball will have senior night as they will have their first ever matchup against Line Mountain. Line Mountain coming to town at 3.15, followed by West Prairie Girls Basketball tomorrow night at 7.30 against James Buchanan in a Mid-Pen Colonial Division matchup. That's going to do for us here at West Perry High School. On behalf of our athletic director, Ryan Anderson, our public address announcer, Brent Anderson, our high school principal, Chris Rukasian, our superintendent, Jeff Coons, and all of us here at West Perry High School, I am Alex Wall, the Golden Pipes of West Perry Athletics, saying so long from West Perry High School. This has been a presentation of the PIAA District 3 Wrestling Championships Class 2A. West Perry versus Conrad Weiser, exclusively on the West Perry Athletic Department YouTube channel. Your final score in this one, the West Perry Mustangs win it 51 to 16. Good luck on Wednesday at Bishop McDevitt High School, taking on Topa Hawkins. See you later, everybody. Good night.